Salut Yeten et bienvenue au car pour aujourd'hui. Hello, right guys, I hope you're all safe and well. Welcome to today's lesson. Now, last lesson, we started looking at ideal holidays and we went through all the vocabulary for it and we spoke a bit about the conditional tense and I told you how important all this language is because for some of you, this will be a question on your exam. It might be for all of you, it might come up in the writing, but for some of you, for speaking, some of you will get given holidays and this is what you'll need to do. You'll need to answer this question. I will certainly be asking some of you this. Even if you're not asked it, you'll be asked a very like a, a verification of it. So like, what's your ideal weekend? What's your ideal town or something like that? So all of this is so important. And the conditional tense is a huge step to your GCSE. It's down here is a GCSE module must know. You must know the conditional tense. You must know how it works. You must be able to use it in your French if you want to get a good grade, which you obviously do. So it's so important. Today, we're focusing purely on the conditional tense. We're going to do some work on it. We're going to explain it. We're going to go through it to make sure you know it. And after today's lesson, you'll know everything there is to know about the conditional tense. Like no one will know more than you. If you're studying A-levels, you've got this amount of knowledge. This is everything you need to know about the conditional tense. And the best thing about today's lesson is usually I'll do this lesson on a busy day and you'll go off and you'll have four other lessons and homework and some drama. guys. Because this is lockdown, you've now got time to really focus on this, to study this, to make sure that you're on top of it. The best thing about this lockdown, I think it'll be a good thing for you going into year 11, is it will develop your independence, which is what you need to do to get a really good mark at GCSE anyway. So, conditional tense, so it's all about today, guys. You know how we start. Si vous plaît, mes petits, il faut copier le date pour moi. Voilà. Et copier le titre du genre, le conditionnel would. Copier tout ça dans le cahier bleu pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Et vous avez aussi le contrôle de post-it ici. Comment dire 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Comment dire les 6 phrases très importantes. Comment dire en français. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Hello, my petit, if you listen to me now then, you've got a date and title in your book, you'll need to come back to this section of your book to study, and you've got to go at a contrôle de post-it. All six of these phrases are absolutely crucial. When I hit you with this question in your speaking exam, this is what you'll need to use. In your writing exam, these are the phrases you'll need to use or you'll need to adapt. So, you've got to, got to, got to know them. If you struggled and you couldn't do all six of these, I'd recommend you watch last lesson's video or at least the language learning bit we go through uh, the new vocabulary because you've got to know this year 10. Let's see what you can do. Donc le premier, if I has the chance, if I had the chance, c'est ce que je voulais dire, et c'est si j'avais le choix. Voilà, if I had the choice. Alors numéro 2, my dream holidays, you say in French, my holidays of dream. Holidays are always plural, so think about this all the time. If you're my, you need the plural form. Mes vacances de rêve. Oh, what's going on today? Mes vacances de rêve. My holidays of dream. Alors, numéro 2. If I could decide, I hope this one's right. Si je pouvais décider. But there's an accent missing, but not bad. Si je pouvais décider. Remember in French you say, if I was able to decide. This is an absolute beautiful sentence. It's called a C clause, an if clause. You need to use this. I would like to go. So remember, there's two ways to use the conditional. We're going to look at both. Number four was what we call our cheat, the easier way to do it. Because you just need to say, I would like, and then your infinitive. So what's I would like? And what's the infinitive of the verb to go? C'est, je voudrais aller. I would like to go. Alors, numéro cinq. This is the harder way to do it. I would go. And it's an irregular verb. I always read je allerai dégoutant. You can't say that. So it changes to ir in the future. So it is j'irai with the A-I-S. If you took that S off and it was j'irai like this, what does that mean? And what tense is it in? Like that, j'irai means I will go. This is a future tense. Put the S on it, change the end in, j'irai. That's I would go, and that one S makes all that difference. It changes the word from will to would. Alors, et finalement, there would be, 
we know Ilya is there is, Ilyave is there was, Ilyora is there will be, Ilyore is there will be with the A-I-T ending. Guys, give yourself a mark out of six for this. If you've not got a good score, if, if you're nowhere near, you need to go back to last lesson and have a little look at this vocabulary. If you're happy with what you've got for our contrôle de post-it, we're going to have a little warm-up and we're going to go into the vocabulary test today. Alors donc, on va commencer avant le contrôle de vocabulaire. On va faire un peu de répétition ensemble. Alors mes enfants, avant le contrôle de vocabulaire, on va faire une petite activité pour faire un peu de révision. Donc, vous savez comment jouer verbe au volleyball à la maison Il faut les portables. And on your portable, I want you to set a, a chronomètre. Voilà, which is a stopwatch. So I've got mine on 0000. Et c'est contre le montre, tu le montres. Il faut dire anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français, rapidement. Time yourself and see what you've got. Let's say between 20 and 30 seconds is a good time. Let me show you how it's done. Hello, I'm Tito, if I had the chat. Oh, hang on, I didn't stop my stopwatch. I'm gonna go for it again. I'm not, I'm not pausing to look at the answers. All right, and, allez. Alone, uh, seul, if I had the choice, si j'avais le choix, if I was able to decide, si je pouvais décider, my dream holidays, mes vacances de rêve, a youth hostel, uh, an auberge de jeunesse. Right, I did the first column in eight seconds there. Pretty good, that'd be 24 overall. All right, let's say 30 to 40 seconds is a pass mark. Put me on pause. See, like, prepare first, and then start your stopwatch and go for it. See what time you can get when you're happy with your time. Restart the video and I'll just up the difficulty a little bit. Put me on pause now and have a go. Verb volleyball contre le montre qui veut dire against the clock. Allez! Alors, mes petits, pour la deuxième tour, deuxième tour veut dire second round. Pour la deuxième tour, maintenant, il y a les lettres qui manquent. Il faut dire exactement la même activité. Anglais, français, anglais, français, mais il faut compléter la phrase aussi. Par exemple, alors une seule, if I had the choice, si j'avais le choix, if I was able to decide, si je pouvais décider, my dream holidays, mes vacances de rêve, et juste sur une auberge de jeunesse. Voilà, so fast. Down to you now, guys. 30 to 40 seconds is our, like, our target, our pass mark. Put me on pause and prepare. Then when you're ready, go for it. See what time you get. Bon courage. On y va. Hello, mes petits right guys, you've had un peu de révision and hopefully that's helped you with some of our core bits of vocabulary. You know what we do now. Alors maintenant, on va faire un contrôle de vocabulaire on your sheets, sur la feuille, on frog. You'll have a version of this vocab test. You can have a look at it now. You can write it straight in your book. You can write on the sheet completely down to you. Alors, je vais expliquer le contrôle de vocabulaire. Alors, cette fois, mes petits, ici, pour question 1, 2, toi, vous avez le vocabulaire en français. Pour 4 et 5, vous avez le vocabulaire en anglais. Pour le premier parti, il faut traduire le vocabulaire. Donc, qu'est-ce que c'est le cuisseur de soleil en anglais? Qu'est-ce que c'est si j'avais le choix en anglais? Il faut traduire 1, 2, toi. Pour 4 et pour 5, Il faut traduire en français. Je vous ai donné les espaces pour le premier. Donc, pour, dup, 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 dup. Qu'est-ce que c'est, hein? Pour partie 2, il faut mettre les mots ici dans la boîte, dans le bon espace. Donc, U, tu, si tu avais le choix. Where something you, if you had the choice. Here's your clue, is tu. So what ending would you have for two? That doesn't really help you. All right, see what they can do for numéro 7. Avec, voyagerais-tu? Non, il faut utiliser les mots pour compléter la phrase. Ça, c'est plus difficile aujourd'hui. Alors, la note d'admission aujourd'hui, c'est 9 sur 15. Je serais super content si vous avez 9 sur 15. 11, c'est très bien. 13, c'est très très bien. Et 15 sur 15, ce sera incroyable aujourd'hui. Alors, mes petits, bon courage. Put me on pause, mes enfants. Vous avez 5 minutes, d'accord? 5 minutes pour faire ça. Bon courage. On y va. Salut, mes enfants. Alors, if you're listening to me now, 
You've given your best to this very cup test and you're ready for the answers. Nine, neuf, c'est la note d'émission aujourd'hui. All right, let's break it down and see what you've got. Numéro un, le coucheur du soleil. We talked about this last lesson. It's how you say the sunset, literally the going down of the sun. I love that. Alors, numéro deux, si j'avais le choix. We've already seen this three times in this lesson. It means if I had the choice. It literally means if I was having the choice. Numéro trois, Absolute must know this year 10. Il y aurait, there would be. So, pour mes vacances de rêve, il y aurait une piscine olympique for my dream holidays. There would be an Olympic size swimming pool. You've got to know this word. You're going to see it. You've got to use it. Alors, numéro 4. I just sort of said it when I was given the answer to number 3. For my dream holidays, par mes vacances de rêve. Now, it's got to be perfect for you to get this mark, including the hat or circumflex on the E and it's me vacances. Your holidays are always plural in French so you need the right one here. If you don't have me, no marks. If you've not got the um, circumflex on the E, no marks. It's not harsh, it's getting it right to so make sure you get it right in your writing exam. Alors, donc le dernier, I would stay. There's two ways to say it. I've gone for je logerai or you could have je resterai or you could have, je voudrais loger, or je voudrais rester. If you've written all four of those, I'll give you four marks for show me your range. I love it. Alors, donc, ça c'est parti 1. Give yourself a mark out of five for the first section. Partie 2, c'était beaucoup plus difficile. Vous voyez, donc, U, tu, si tu avais le choix. So, tu, c'est le prénom. So, what's that endings for tu? It's the same as je. So, it could either be this, this. Or this. So, U, ferais-tu? Not quite. This means where. So, it's got to be, where would you stay if you had the choice? U logerais-tu si tu avais le choix? I won't accept anything else. It don't make sense. We're mixing in your question words from three lessons ago now. See how important they are. Alors, numéro 7. Avec, voyagerais-tu? C'est avec qui? Another question word, bit of revision. With who would you travel with is what number seven says. So get rid of those two that we've used and let's see what we've got left. Logerie is gone. Key is gone. Okay, so they've got loads left. So, numéro eight. Qu'est-ce que tu pendant tes de rêve? So qu'est-ce que tu ferais pendant tes vacances de rêve? Qui veut dire what would you do during your dream holidays? Get rid of those two. All right, how are you doing so far? I want nine today. Four potential marks left. This is where it gets tough. It's new. So, where's the end of... Hang on, is there a verb missing? It's got to be... Nous voyagerions avec mes grands-parents et je me reposerai à la plage. Bien. So, I would travel with my grandparents and I would relax on the beach. And then finally, si je... Je les réponds toutes les vacances et je profiterai du... It is... Si je pouvais... If I was able to, je lirai, I would read, pour toutes les vacances et je profiterai du silence. Which says in total then, if I was able to, I would read all holiday and I would benefit from the silence. So, profiter. French people use this verb all the time. They always say when you say you're on holiday and they talk to you, oh, profiter des vacances, which means like make a profit from. But they don't mean like sell some stuff. Like on the beach to make some money, it means like to get the most out of. So, profiter de is to make or get the most out of. So, here it says, if I could, I'd read on the beach and I would make the most out of the silence. That's a beautiful phrase. You can do that for loads of questions you're asked for GCC. Alors, finalement, la défi additionnel. This is so tough today. I'm going to split it up into three marks. So, there would be a games room in the Four Star Hotel where I would play computer games, that would be cool. You need, il y aurait, let's get rid of all this, il y aurait une salle de jeu dans l'hôtel de 4 étoiles où je jouerais des jeux vidéo, ce serait cool. All right, let's break it down for your marks. I will be happy up to the salle de jeu is your first one, if it's perfect. Dans l'hôtel de 4 étoiles, I'll give you another one for that. Je jouerai des jeux vidéo, I'll give you another one for that. And then finally, ce serait cool, I'll give you four potential marks here. Bon effort si tu as essayé le défi additionnel. Good effort, guys. Can you add up all the marks you've got? 
give yourself a grand total out of 15. Now, if you've got over nine, well done. You're ready for the tricky grammar part today. If you haven't got over nine, you need to be honest with yourself. You need to go either on to memorize and practice some more, or you can go to last lessons video and watch it and then join us again. You need to know this vocab inside out before we go on to the grammar today. You decide if you want to pause, come back to this part of the video and take it from here. Anomipity. So if you're ready for this, we looked at this last time. And we're looking today at the conditional tense. Here's our four key questions. Put me on pause, answer them now if you can. And up. right guys, I'll go through the answers. What tense are the highlighted phrases in? They're all in the conditional tense. They mean would. So it says, where, where's my highlighter? <laughs> where would you stay? With who would you travel? I would relax. You need to know this. What's the stem? Well, for regular verbs, loger, voyager, reposer, profiter, and lire, for normal words, the verbs, the stem is the infinitive. You don't take off the E-R-I-R-R-E. You keep the full form of the verb and then you put on our endings. All those endings mean would and worms to endings. They change. So all these different letters, all these different endings mean would. The irregulars, uh, have we got an irregular here? Yeah, ferre, ici, are the same as the future tense. Once you've learned the irregulars for that tense, they're exactly the same for the conditional. This is what I'm testing you on today. Let's have a look at it. Allons me petit. So same five questions as last time. We're going to work for each of these in detail. We're going to know everything there is to know in the whole French language about the conditional tense after this lesson. Allons me petit. So first thing when we're talking about the conditional tense is when do you use it? So it's whenever you want to say would. Therefore, it's a sort of future tense. It's what you would do if you were able to. And that's why it's called the conditional, because there's conditions on you being able to do something. Donc, par exemple, par exemple, if I won the lottery, I would go to Barbados. So me going to Barbados is sadly conditional on me winning the lottery, particularly on my teacher's salary. Yeah. So this is the condition to it. It's not I will go to Barbados. If only is if I had more money, I would do it. So the conditional tense means would you use it for wishes and ambitions. Now, this is really important in terms of your GCC, because if I say to you, what would your ideal holidays be like? What would your ideal weekend be like? Describe what you would like to change about your school. You'll need to use this tense. Every single one of you will be using this tense in their writing exam and in their speaking exam. So you have to know it. And so how do we create it? It's all about these steps. So Step one, you take the infinitive of the verb. What is an infinitive? You can't go into year 11 and not know the answer to this. An infinitive is the full form of the verb before we've done anything with it, and it ends in ER, IR, or RE. You take the infinitive, you keep on the ER, IR, RE. The only exception is the RE, you just get rid of the last E, just to stop two vowels touching, and then you need the right ending. Now, if you went into a dictionary and looked up the word for would, it wouldn't be there. You can't look up would in a dictionary. Try it if you don't believe me. Type it into Google or whatever to see what you can do. That's because the word would is all about our verb ending. So here we are. Je, tu, il, elle, on, eu, vu, il, elle. Here's all our different pronouns and here's the verb ending and each one of these means would. What happens to the verb ending when we talk about others? It changes and that's what we've got here. You need to learn these verb endings off by heart to make sure you can use the conditional tense for yourself and others. Guys, it is so easy. If I take them away, I'll show you I can do it. Here we go. So when I was in year 11, I had to learn these for one homework and I did. And that's it. I've never forgotten them, obviously, because I use them all the time. All right, right, guys, take them away. It goes AIS, AIS, AIT, AIT, IONS, IEZ, AIENT, AIENT. Facile. Look at that. So once you've learned these verb endings, 
you've got them for life and you can use them. So let's put it all together. You'll all, always say like the person doing the verb. So I would stay. Say that's what I want to say. For my ideal holidays, I would stay. So pour mes vacances de rêve, I, je, and then I take the verb, reste, do I get rid of the ER? No, you don't keep the ER on, keep it in the infinitive. So je resterai is what you need. I would stay. Tu resteras. You would stay. Il voyagerait. He would stay. Um, sorry, he would travel. Nous mangerions. We would eat. All you need to do is take the two parts and put it together. Now, the only problem is that's the regular pattern. There's also irregular verbs. What don't irregular verbs do? They don't follow the pattern. That's why they're called irregular, because they don't follow a regular pattern. For these irregular verbs, the good news is the endings are all still the same. They never change. A S A S A I T I N S I Z A I E N T. What does change is you don't take the infinitive for these verbs. You don't say je très jalere. This changes, and you've got to learn these irregular stems off by heart. All of you need to know these four because you will see them even in foundation paper you'll see these four there are more they're used exactly the same as the future tense so i'm going to be really testing you on these irregulars today let's see what we can do and, uh, right guys so voyez i've taken away the verb to see if you can remember what an infinitive is i've taken away the endings because i told you you should know them and it's part of your homework easy what i want you to do mettez moi ce pause et essayez de traduire un deux trois quatre cinq six traduisez les phrases pour moi s'il vous plaît everything you need to prompt you is up here there we go you got your regulars you got your regular verbs and you've got your sort of endings. I've just taken away the key bits. Put me on pause now. See what you can do. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Hello, mes petits. If you're listening to now, you've had a go at this. Let's see what we've got. Now, it doesn't matter if you're making mistakes on this. It doesn't matter if you're getting things wrong. It's all about having a go and seeing what you can do. Hello, mes petits. I would be. I was mean for the first one. The verb to be is être. It's an irregular verb. Did you know that? Have you worked that out? Let's see what you've got. So you need I, which is je. Être changes to ser. And then the right ending is a, I, s. Put it all together. Je serai is I would be. See what I've done? Excellent. If you've got this. Numéro de We would e. Okay, so a nice regular verb. We oui is new. The verb to eat is manger. Do you put the ER in the end? Of course you do. You take the infinitive, the full form. So, je mangeur. And then what's the ending? I-O-N-S. Nous mangerions is what you need. We would eat. All right. We talked about this last lesson. My family is a she. So you need to use elle here. So, my family follows this pattern. Ma famille. This is the verb to stay, put it into the infinitive, rester, and then what's the ending for L? A I T. Ma famille resterait is what you need. All right, I would go another irregular. Ali changes to ir. Those of you do Spanish, does anyone do Spanish? Those of you do do Spanish, ir is the verb to go in the infinitive in Spanish. See, it all links. So I would go is going to be gérer. I would go. We would go, change the je to nous, it's still going to be ir, but the ending for nous is i-o-n-s, nous irions, and then my family would do another irregular, faire changes to fur, so it's ma famille ferait, with the a-i-t on the end, can't see the t, but it's there, so guys, this is what it's all about, how well did you get on here? really tough this activity, don't worry if you've got loads wrong, hopefully you've got a better idea of the conditional. If you have got all of these wrong, we are not getting the idea of this. Have you done the daily tests? Have you watched the conditional tense YouTube video for your homework? These things matter. You're at home studying. You're independent now. Yeah, you've got to manage your time. So if you want to stop this video, look at that, have a go at that and come back. Absolutely fine. You decide what you're doing in year 10. If you think you've got the hang of this, let's push you that little bit more.
Hello my petit nibli bar. Don't forget last lesson I taught you a cheat. We're gonna have another little look at that cheat. So this is a cheat but it's, it's just real language. We only call it a cheat because it's an easier method to get the same results. So to cheat all you need is to take two of our key verbs and know them in the conditional. Yeah, so they're both, well, no, vouloir is an irregular verb. So once you know how it changes, it's just the matter of changing the endings. Now with this and with aimé, j'aimerai, all you need to do is use either one of these and then just whack an infinitive on the ends and you've got the conditional tense the easy way. So you don't have to worry, is it a regular, have I got the infinitive, all of those worries go. You can just use je voudrais or j'aimerais and then the infinitive. So I would see is je verrai, it's an irregular verb that you need to change. But that wouldn't matter if you use this method, you just say je voudrais voir. Aller is irregular, it changes to ir. You don't need to worry about that when you use that cheat, you just say je voudrais aller or j'aimerais aller. Guys, this is the easier method that you can use to help you out. Alors, you think the cheat's easy? Let's put you to the test. I've taken away the conditional tense endings that you should know. I've now got some sentences using the cheat. What I want you to do, mettez-moi sur pause et essayez de traduire un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six en français, s'il vous plaît. Use the cheat, but there's one that isn't a cheat down here. See if you can find it, see if you can use it. Guys, put me on pause, see what you can do. Bon, uh, bon courage, on y va. Allo, mi petit, let's see what we've got then. The cheat isn't as easy as it looks when you have to do it on your own, is it? So, I would like to be, I would like, et je voudrais, and then know your infinitives. Our verb to be is être, je voudrais être. If you put, je serais, that's I would be, uh, je voudrais être is I would like to be, we would like to eat, so this time it is we, sorry I forgot for number one you could have j'aimerais être as well, numéro deux, we would like to eat, so nous voudrions, what's our ending, I-O-N-S, nous voudrions manger, infinitive again, numéro trois, I would like to stay, je voudrais loger, or je voudrais rester. Or you could have j'aimerais loger, j'aimerais rester. Perfect. I would stay. Now, this is different. I would like to stay. This is in the conditional tense. Did you see it? You can use je logerai or je resterai with an S on the end. It's been cut off. You need both of those today. Can you see the difference between the two? So they're pretty much interchangeable. It doesn't matter if you use the cheat je voudrais loger or je logerai, but this is the difference between the two. I would like to stay, I would stay. Numéro 5, we would like to go, so we would like is this again, nous voudrions, and then our verb to go is, aller, nous voudrions aller, and then we would go, look at the comparison between we would like to go and we would go. This way is easy, you just ch change the vouloir, and then add the infinitive, down here is tougher, we would go, the verb to go ali is irregular, it changes to ir, and you need to say in the ending ions, nous irions. Voilà, right, a lot tougher. Let's practice this now. Allo, mi petit, see if we can answer our key questions, and then let's move on to talking through this tense and giving you some practice time. Et voilà, mi petit, right, guys, I want 10 minutes on this. Put a timer on your phone, pour 10 minutes. Because this is all grammar today, I've spoken so much English. Don't worry, I'll go and explain all these activities completely en français. On y va? All this is on your sheet. You've got like a like a help sheet that, that describes the tense, and then you've got our activities pour le jour. Et voilà. Donc ceci, c'est activité 1. Ici, j'ai mis les verbes en verbe. Voilà, vous avez le verbe. Et ici, vous avez une phrase. Il faut conjuguer le verbe au conditionnel. Par exemple, je, mes vacances de rêve aux Amériques du Sud, I, it's gonna be, would spend my dream holidays in South America. So how are you gonna put this conditional? You need to add the would, which is our ending. What three letters are missing on the end of that verb? Ajoutez-les et complétez les phrases. Par exemple, je passerai mes vacances de rêve. The verbs, les verbes sont ici, Fin de la phrase. Donc, je, 
Remember, it's an irregular. Avec ma famille est nue les vacances. Changez le verbe ici au conditionnel pour moi, mes petits. Alors, activité 2, c'est plus difficile. Maintenant, il y a cinq phrases, il y a les problèmes. Le problème, c'est que les verbes, les choses soulignées, ne sont pas correctement au conditionnel. Il faut corriger les erreurs dans chaque phrase. Par exemple, si je pouvais aller au Brésil, je serais très content. Non, this is perfect. If I was able to go to Brazil, I would be happy. Être is our verb to be, but it's a regular. What does it change to? It's not ETI, it changes to something else. Changer le verbe. This on here, this is fine, isn't it? I've got my AIS. No, what type of the verb do we take? The in change it. Alors donc, il faut corriger toutes les phrases ici. Et finalement, activité 3, c'est difficulté rouge. C'est plus difficile. Ici, vous avez une phrase en anglais. Il faut traduire la phrase complètement en français. Mais attention, normally I stay, ce n'est pas conditionnel. That's present tense. Normalement, je reste, je loge. Et ici, vous avez conditionnel. Donc attention, certains verbes sont au présent, les autres verbes sont au conditionnel. Attention à faire ça, c'est difficulté rouge. You don't have to do this, this is where it's getting tougher. Et ici, j'ai la défi additionnel pour aujourd'hui. Alors non, c'est un peu différent. Ce qu'il faut faire, <coughs> excusez-moi, Ici, vous avez une phrase, mais le problème, la phrase n'est pas dans le bon ordre. If the choice I was having would travel I because annoy is my only family. Non, ça fait pas sens. Changer l'ordre des mots pour écrire la phrase dans le bon ordre, mes petits. Par exemple, si, this is fast, j'avais le choix... Je voyagerai seul. Et voilà, easy street. Donc, mettez la phrase dans le bon ordre pour moi. Après avoir mis la phrase dans le bon ordre, il y a deux parties. Il faut traduire la phrase que tu as changé l'ordre de en français. Two parts to this activity. Attention. Alors, Yetan, vous avez 10 minutes maintenant. Put a time on your phone. Put this video on pause in 10 minutes time. Restart and we'll go through the answers. Good luck, guys. Bon courage. Allez, on y va. Hello, mes petits. If you can hear me now, are you ready for the answers? What do you think? How'd you get on? Let's find out. Donc, le premier, je, mes vacances de rêve. Passé is our uh, think about the steps. We've already got the infinitive here. So, what we need to do is add the right endings on for je, which is A I S. Je passerai mes vacances de rêve. Et so you need. Ah, numéro 2. C'est plus compliqué parce que. I had an irregular verb straight away. You should have. J'irai avec ma famille et nous adorerions les vacances. Now remember, it looks weird and it sounds weird. It looks even weird. I mean, there's a D missing. But you need this whole thing. You need to have the ER still on the end. Alors, numéro 3. Pour y aller nu. A verb is voyager. And we've got another irregular être. So it's nu. Take the infinitive voyager and add I, O, N, S on the end. Nous voyagerions en avion privé. Ce, the verb is être. So it's it would be. The end for it. It is a he or a she in French, isn't it? Because it's either le or la. So be ce serait relaxant et rapide. Well done if you got that one. Alors, numéro 4. Pendant le vol. Now you'll see this. Those of you who are like eagle-eyed in airports might have seen this already. In English airports, the language is in English and in French. So where it says flights, it will say slash vol. 
Voler is the verb to fly. So pendant le vol means during the flight. Two verbs here. Regarder is regular. So you're talking about your brother. What's the ending? A-I-T. Mon frère regarderait un film sur le grand écran. Plat et mes soeurs. Jouer is our verb. It would be jouer au billard. That is quite a snazzy plane if it's got a pool table on it. I'd love that, but... Will it work when you're flying? Anyway, numéro 5. Le voyage de mes vacances de rêve. The journey of my dream holiday. So you're talking about the journey. So whenever you get a verb and you want to change it for the, le is like il, yeah? He, because it's a thing that's masculine. So, le voyage de mes vacances de rêve serait relaxant. So my, the voyage, the journey for my dream holiday would be relaxing. Je serai en première classe, bien sûr. Je me reposerai. Je lirai mon livre et je dormirai. Right, loads of mistakes to spell with today. This should have an S on the end. So this says, the journey for my dream holiday would be relaxing. I would be in first class, of course. I would relax myself. I would read my book and I would sleep. It doesn't matter. If you've not seen the verb before, you just have to follow the pattern, and that's all I've done here. Alors, et 6, 7 et 8, you get a mark out of 17 in total. Let's go for the rest of them. Aux Amériques du Sud, nous visiterions la forêt tropicale. Nous y voyagerions uh, en hélicoptère. Love that word. And then, numéro 7, il y aurait plein de choses à faire. Je m'amuserais beaucoup avec mes amis. Et numéro 8, Nager, c'est ma passion. Qui veut dire swimming is my passion. Pendant les jours à la plage, je nagerai avec des poissons tropicaux et je ferai du canoë kayak. And that is a lovely, lovely GCC sentence that I'd love to see something similar in your written work. It's an swimming is my passion. During the days at the beach, I would swim with the tropical fish or I would do canoeing. I love that. Guys, this is a conditional tense. Give yourself a mark at 17 for green difficulty, s'il vous plaît. Allons, mes petits. Donc, difficulté orange. This was a lot tougher. There's a mistake in each one of these. Let's see what you know. So, numéro 1. Si je pouvais aller au Brésil, je est très content. Disgusting. It's not j'étais. Être is never regular. It changes to serait. Je serai content. I would be happy. If only. Numéro 2. Je restais à l'hôtel et je ferai rien. Two mistakes here. The first one, you might say, what's the mistake? I've got my AIS on the end. What part of the verb do you take? The infinitive. And infinitives usually end in ER or IR or RE. This idiot has taken the ER off. Put it back on. You need je resterai. I would stay at the hotel et je ferai, this looks fine to me, because the infinitive is fair. So all they've done, look at my baby is writing, all they've done is they've followed the pattern, it's an RE verb, so they got rid of that E, and then they've added on the right ending. But fair in every tense, in every way, is an irregular verb, it changes to F-E-R, you need je ferai rien. Well done if you got that. More irregulars here. It's not j'allerai, c'est j'irai au Brésil avec mes amis. Et nu, regarderai un match de fou. That one's fine, isn't it? Because regarderai means would watch. We would watch a football match. Why is it wrong? Because it's nu. What happens to our verb when we talk about others? It changes the pattern. You need I-O-N-S on the end. Numéro 4, ce serait. It sounds the same, the S and the T, but you need the right one. Ce serait un rêve. What's wrong with this? J'adorerais ça. There's two faults with it. First off, it should be J apostrophe, but that's not the only fault. What's missing? You take the infinitive. J'adorerais is what you need. Now, to show you how important this is, this means I would love. This means I used to love. It's in a different tense. That ER makes all the difference. And then finally, U logetu si tu aurais le choix should be you logerai to where would you stay if you were having the choice this needs to be imperfect you logerai to si tu avais le choix guys i don't think anyone would have got that that's a little bit of a level french called a c clause there well done if you got it
I love you pity. Let's blitz this. Here's your translations. I'm just going to put them up. Put me on pause and have a read through and check what you've got. If you've got something wrong, think about why. Allo mi petit, and then I love this extra challenge today. I don't know why ordering sentences is so much fun for me, because I'm sad. Si j'avais le choix, je voyagerais seul car ma famille m'énerve. Boom! If I had the choice, I would go alone because my family annoyed me. Absolutely love that sentence. That's what the examiner wants. Show like a bit of humour or something that makes you stand out. The examiner will love it. Numéro 2. Si pour un seul jeu, j'étais romain l'armée et je en paix pour un vif. Mm, this one's tough. I'm going to be able to do this on the spot. Si j'étais seul, je pourrais lire mes romans et je pourrais vivre en paix. All right, it says, if I was alone, I would be able to read my books and I'd be able to live in peace. Another beautiful sentence. If you got that well done, I'd love to see that in your work. You can use this loads. And finally, the last one. S'il n'y avait pas d'adulte, j'aurais la liberté dont j'ai besoin. Oh, this is beautiful. If there wasn't any adults, I would have the freedom that I needed or which I need. Voila, All right guys. I don't think a GCC should be doing question three. That is like level nine. A really, really good effort here, guys. Hopefully, you're feeling more confident about the conditional tense. But it's got to be perfect, guys. And that's where your homework comes in. The daily tests, the video on YouTube, they're all for you to master this. If you want a good grade at French, it's not enough knowing it and being able to do it in the lesson. You need to know this so well that in your writing exam, you can change that verb. You need to know that on your spot for your speaking exam, you can do it and you can get the right verb out of your mouth with less than a second's thinking time. And to do it, it's just all about practice. That's what I had to do. You need to practice it. So we've got three daily tests this week and a translation. See what you can do year 10. I want this complete for next lesson where we're going to do a reading and listening, which are really tough on this tense. Allons mes petits, bon effort pour aujourd'hui. Merci et au revoir.